Hello, it's Nest Tilson here, and this is a short video to show you how you can design a staircase using only completely free software. Uh, I'm going to use three um, programs, three software um, that's completely free. Um, I'm going to use Stair Designer here, with the free version, which to actually design the stair. I'm going to use a program called Jing, which is this program which has got this little bubble here which I can use, which is also completely free to capture Stair Designer's um, plans. And I'm going to use a free program called DraftSite, which is here, DraftSite, which is a 3 2D CAD program, which will enable me to actually draw the plan um, in, in a CAD program and have the real sizes of all the different parts. So in this short video, I'm just going to show you how to get the plan. Um, it's, it's pretty easy. Let's start with the stair. Let's open Stair Designer and let's just design a stair. Um, here we are in Stair Designer. Let's start a new stair and say that we want a new stair of. Um, uh, let's say that we have two flights equal flights. Uh, let's say that we have a 100 millimeter. Uh, um, uh, step last step um, and let's calculate it does that calculate out well no it doesn't calculate out very well let's put a few few uh, um, less steps in it and that now our stair, stair is well calculated and here is our the, the drawing of our of our staircase what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the um, the strings move up to the back of the last step so that we'll have a right angle here. This is an important point to make it easier to draw in the CAD program. Uh, we have a continuous line here along the last step and the strings. Now, this particular stair, I'm going to just make a put it here, and I'm going to ex I'm going to um, display the stairwell parameters box. Let's put it in English so that we're all in the same language here. Let's put the stairwell parameters box and I'm just going to put stairwell parameters box here on the screen. Uh, let's change a bit the stair first. Let's just put this you know, it just annoys me a bit to see these these winders because I would normally put straight steps here to make the stair easier to make more. Now we put the stair well parameters box. I'm just going to put it here, a convenient place so that I can capture the whole screen or I can capture the picture of the stair with the stairwell parameters box. To do that I'm going to go into the Jing bubble, which is up here. Just click Capture. Draw, cap draw a capture window around the stair and the stairwell parameters box and ask Jing, capture the image and let's save the image as stair01 here. And let's replace the one I already got with stair01. Now in Jing I have saved a screen, I captured the screen and saved it in a file. Now let's go, let's close now Stair Designer and close Jing, close Stair Designer. I have to close the box first, let's close Stair Designer. No, I don't want to save the stair. Uh, let's say, now let's open Stair Designer, free version of Stair Designer. Now you do know that the free version does everything for designing stairs. The only thing that you don't have is the manufacturing output. But we're going to use the Stair Designer study. Um, oh, sorry, I'm in stair design here, I don't want to be stair design. I'm going to use this it's open draft site. I'm going to use the stair designer study, the calculations that it's done, and put them into draft site and start use there thereby using the calculations of stair designer to design the stair in CAD. So the first thing I'm going to do here in draft site, this is a free draft site, I'm just going to insert an image. And the image that I'm going to insert, of course, is going to be the image of our, let's try and find it, is going to be the image of our stair that came out of Stair Designer. So let's say um, that must be here. And I think it's Stair01. And let's just put it on the screen here and give it a certain size. Right now we have put on one layer in draft site the image of uh, the, the stair as it was designed in Stair Designer with 
the stairwell parameters uh, toolbox here. Now what we can see, if we zoom into it, we can see that we can this, this is this, we don't know what size this image is, but let's put the image to the size, the real size of the stair. To do that, it's very easy with the stairwell parameters box just on the on the screen. Let's create another. Let's create another layer, and let's just create. Let's call this layer. Let's call it a stair. And let's um, let's make the layer. Let's make the layer red so we can see it nice and easy. And let's make it active. So we're drawing on it. So let's just now use. Um, hang on, let's uh, put draft out a bit closer inside the window so you can see it all. So we can see all the, all the you can see all the command lines and, and the, the toolbars. Let's put a construction line here, and let's put a construction line, in fact, on the stair at its point at its um, at the just we just eyeball it over the edge of the string like that and that's going to put another stru construction line here and let's put it, this one horizontally over the first step now I know from the stairwell parameters here that the distance from the beginning of the first step to the back of this string is going to be 200 two, two, two meters 50 or 2,500 millimeters here, the length, left length. So I know the right and the and that the distance along from the back here to the back of this step is also 2 meters 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to just take the offset command, offset here, and I'm going to type in an offset, a parallel line of 2 meters 50. And I'm going to put 2 meters 50 of this line here. And I'm going to take 2 meters 50 of this line here. And in CAD, we know that this is, in fact, from here to here is the, the left hand string. And from here to here is the second left hand string. So let's resize now the actual drawing to fit to the draft site uh, lines. Now let's just go into the drawing here. And now we're going to use the resize, that is um, scale, and we're going to scale this element here. We're going to take it from the intersection of the two lines, and I'm going to tap R to have the reference distance. Now the reference distance is the intersection of the two lines to this particular corner. I'm going to eyeball the intersection of the last step with the back of the string here. That is the distance that is interesting to me. And now if I zoom out again and I pull this point to the intersection of the two lines that I have drawn in draft site, I have resized the stair designer image capture to the draft site uh, to the real size of the draft site drawing, so that's uh, now I can now I can use this drawing as to calculate my stair. Uh, to use this drawing to calculate the stair, let's just put in a few extra lines. Let's do some offsets, and we can see that this stair is one meter wide. So let's offset for one meter the total width of the string here, and the total width of the stair here, and the total width of the stair here. Let's just um, trim off a few things so that we can have the it would be easier for us to draw the next part of our stair. Let's just fill it and let's make sure our fillet radius is zero and let's fill it these lines here. So we've just got the limits of the stair here. Okay. Now let's draw in our um, let's draw in the walking line. The walking line is from the middle of this point here, and it's vertical up. And let's say it's from the middle of this point here and horizontal here. And now let's say it's let's fillet it, and let's fillet it at 500. Let's say the fillet is at 500. 
between this line and this line and now we have our walking line which is a prex which is uh, with, with the with the curved part here uh, let's trim the walking line at the first step and let's trim the walking line let's trim the walking line let's, uh, on. let's trim the walking line oh yeah I have to trim the walking line effect be careful here I have to trim the walking line not along this last back of the last step but along the nosing of the last step so let's put the nosing of the last step in first we know that the nosing of the last step if we look on the um, stairwell parameters is a hundred millimeters from here so let's just say offset a hundred millimeters this line here and let's trim now to this line we trim the walking line and now here we have the walking line which is pretty neat uh, let's um, fill it now these two lines are we, we put a, let's, we don't want to re re redo that because we don't want a curve in that fillet we just want to fill it but the ra radius being zero and let's fill it this line and this line okay now we have the walking line this walking line is a, is is um is a line here an arc here and a line here let's change now that into one continuous polyline if i click here and i say change that into a polyline and let's add to the polyline this arc and this line here and now we have one continuous entity here if i click on it we have one continuous entity let's now just take away let's get rid of the um, the drawing underneath we can also let's fill it here as well because we don't we can now fill it we don't need this one here and now now we have a polyline from the start of the stair from the first nosing up to the last nosing um, we can use this polyline now to if we go to draw and let's draw a point and let's point divide this point by segments and that we know we have 15 steps so let's divide it into 14 parts and now we have 14 parts I think the points are not the right probably not the right type let's put the right so we can see them easier let's put this part type right here we have the points this has now divided our walking line up into 14 parts and if I look if I now put on the drawing, let's put on the drawing the uh, the underneath, and let's go back onto the stair draw, stair stair layer. Sorry. Sorry. Up. Okay. Now we go back on the stair layer. I can put on stair layer here. Stair. It was frozen by my mistake. And we can see now that the walking line has been divided up with our points, and each point corresponds approximately to the stair designer position of the stair designer nosing. So let's now draw in the position of the steps. Uh, before we draw in steps, let's give the thickness of the strings. We know the strings here are 50 mil, so let's give an offset. And let's offset it 50 mil here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. Now we have the we have the thickness of the strings, and now let's put in let's put in the different um, the different uh, steps. To put in a step, it's you just click on the point that's been divided up by the um, the, the the walking line has been divided up. And we can eyeball now approximately the the winders, the, the shape of the winders. I click on the walking line division and eyeball using stair designer to eyeball the winder shape, and that gives me a nice a nice e, a nice positioning of the winders. Let's trim now this one and this one 
let's trim the different uh, steps. Now let's uh, trim this, the, in, the other steps from here to here. Of course, here we have to extend these lines up so that we can get them trimmed this one to this one. And now, in fact, we if we get rid of the stair designer image, we have the stair, which is taking shape. If we trim this line, the last step up to the inside of the stringers, and we can now copy this last step over to each point. And we can do the same for here. Let's copy the first step from the middle to each point. And now let's trim these steps between the two inside stringers. And here we have the real plan of our stair, which we can now use. And I can show that, I'll be showing that in another video. We can now use to develop all the different parts of the stair. So if we go back to, if we get, show the stair designer drawing image. And, and there you are. The, the stair, we've used stair designer, which is a completely free version. We've used Jing, which is also a completely free screen capture program, and we'll use DraftSight, which is a completely free CAD program, to draw our stair in its plan view, and from the plan view, and the different, and also from the plan view, and from the calculations that we've got here, the riser height and the tread width, we will be able to draw all the different parts of the stair, which I'll show in another video. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been interesting to you and uh, I'll say see you soon in our next video. Bye.